in uh, Missouri, and uh, then um, uh, myself. And uh, this is from the Department of Pediatrics, Texas Tech University Health Science Center, the Amarillo campus. Okay, um, good. Mm. Oh, my slides. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Mm. We have nothing to disclose, but only one thing I must say that there are some pictures we'll be showing on the mother and her baby. So they have graciously given this permission. So background, perinatal hypoxic ischemic compromise is the most common sequence leading to severe neurological deficit, commonly referred as uh, cerebral palsy or CP and uh, ep epileptic disorders. Brain injury that develops is an evolving process. Initiation occurs during the insert and extends into a recovery period known as the reperfusion phase. So uh, we we'll usually, I like to share with you um, a case report, it's a case presentation so that we remember things like that better. So this baby P was born at 38 weeks gestation to a, a, a mother, she is gravida one, para one, zero miscarriages, and she was a Caucasian. Baby was born in a regional hospital and was transferred to Northwest Texas Hospital NICU at six hours of life. Uh, sir, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, sir, our uh, nurses are joining us. If you speak in Urdu, it will be easier for you. Yes, I understand. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Samajh nahi There were late. Achha, bataiye. Sir, I was going to say that nurses are joining us. So, if in Urdu, if there is more... Yes, okay. I will. Nah, Urdu and Punjabi are very good. Okay, thank you, sir. Achha. So, this is the child. At 38 weeks gestation, a mother, who is gravity one, para one, or कोई miscarriage नहीं थी तो baby ये बच्चा एक regional hospital में पैदा हुआ था regional hospital means के छोटा शहर जो हमारे बड़े center के पास पास है तो and वो छः घंटे के बाद बच्चा हमारे NICU में transfer हो गया था ये बच्चा spontaneous vaginal delivery or anesthesia, tha, epidural anesthesia. Aap log use karte ho, maha. So there was in fetal monitoring mein late deceleration and uh, occurred. So late deceleration occurs jab um, heart rate niche hi jata hai or just uterus, uterus relax karta hai. Iski wajah ye hai ki placenta achi tarah nahi kaam kar raha. So is liye in, ye hoti hai. They were um, so uh, and rupture uh, membranes uh, uh, occurred 14 hours, chada ghante before delivery. Um, amniotic membranes uh, break hoi thi. Okay. Um, unka jo prenatal care tha, OB care wo receive wo a private uh, obstetrician ne diya tha, just chote share mein wo rehte the. Or in the mother ko uh, prenatal vitamins, just say aap log bhi dete ho. Or um, there was um, uh, mother was smoking. She was a smoker, but no alcohol or no other drugs. Uh, maternal uh, mother ki complication jai thi ke unko acute pyelonephritis ho gaya tha. It's an infection in the kidneys or usko HPV and bacterial vaginosis was present during the, uh, pregnancy. Uh, hospital course at birth, uh, jo hain, ke log the, wo unhone attending delivery ki thi, aur bachche ko ventilate karna pada tha, intubation bhi karna pada tha, uski chest compressions bhi karni padi thi, 
in the delivery room. That means that this was a very sick baby. APCAR score was zero at one minute, four at five minutes, and only four at 10 minutes. So coffee compromised baby. Tha. The cord blood pH was 6.6. .6. Normal pH should be at least 7.25 or 7.3 at birth. So, coffee compromise. But, what do you think about this? Late deceleration because placenta is not a good thing. So, baby was a good thing. We have to transfer it for diagnosis. We have to say that neonatal depression, stage 3 hypoxic ischemic and encephalopathy and for further management. England may or Dusri Jagome Katehe baby was born flat. Flat Kamatlab Koi movement nati, koi breathing nati, so this was a sick baby. So is Bachekopir uh respirator pedala by the transport team. And now they go on physical examination. Karo. Birth weight, uh, bache ka tha, teen, uh, do, uh, 3.2 uh, kilograms. He, uh, head circumference was 34 centimeters. Length was 51 centimeters. And the baby ki just national ass assessment, the balance score hai, was 39 weeks ka tha, uh, gestation. Ka. Or, uh, you can tell me that weight is normal. Hai? Is Bacheka ke Badaha ke Chota? Sir, weight is normal. Three point two kilogram, yes. So that's normal. Yes, Head circumference was thirty four centimeters. Is that normal for this baby? Yes, sir. Normal. It's normal. Bilkul thik hai. Or length hai fifty one centimeters. And ye be normal hai. So ye thirty nine weeks ka bacha tha or appropriate for gestational age. Here, vital signs, the temperature was 98.2. Heart rate was 185 per minute. Breathing rate was 35 per minute. Baby's oxygen saturation was 97% in room air. And um, uh, blood pressure in the right arm was 82 over 63, left arm was 94 over 59, right leg was 71 over 57. Is this normal blood pressure for the child or is it low or is it high? Huh? It seems to be high side. Blood pressure yeah, is yeah. high. Normal. Yeah. Usually average uh, blood pressure for a term baby roughly is about 75 systolic and 35 diastolic. So this kind of pretty close. Ye bacha thoda stress tha, to usliye wo thode zyada the. Okay. So hospital course um, tha bache ka, hospital mein jab dakhil hua, humare center mein, to uh, humne dekha ke general appearance kya hai bache ka. Uh, uptended, koi movement nahi thi, muscle tone very low, or irregular agonal breathing, a head circumference, the anterior fontanel was soft and overriding sutures, eyes, ears, nose, and throat, palate was all intact, but the pupils are fixed and dilated. This is due to lack of oxygen. Cardiovascular system, rhythm regular, the fem femoral pulses pre uh, present, um, or uh, chest x ray, a uh, chest examination, air entry was equal. But the baby had agonal breathing. Agonal breathing is breathe. And gasp. This is present in severe hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Uh, baby ka stomach was non-distended. Bile sounds are present. Liver one centimeter under the right coastal margin. This normal value. Hai. Neurologically, um, the baby had jittery, uh, kampra tha. No muscle tone, no spontaneous movement, no suck. Koi suck nahi thi, koi gag nahi thi. And clonus was greater than 10 beats per second. And the GU is normal male, anus was patent, and musculoskeletal system. He had a small dimple at the lower lumbosacral area, no hip click, and had bruises on the forearm. 
and right foot uh, and right foot with edema so this is a total examination when jab hum bacche ko examine karte hain the vital signs pehle lete hain fir general examination each system and in the end uh, also looking at the feet and hum usually kehte hain parents ko reassurance your aapke bacche ke 10 fing 10 ungliyan hain or 10 uh, fingers and 10 toes to reassurance unko milti hai okay um so our impression ye thi uski diagnosis on admission was term aga male had neonatal depression that's a flat baby also bachche ki thi hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy stage 3 main aapko samjhaunga ki kya iska matlab hai bachche ke sath severe metabolic acidosis tha ph aapko bataya hai ki it was 6.9 or something baby had respiratory distress secondary to uh, lung involvement baby also baby ko fits par gaya tha um healthcare maintenance samne bacche ke sath kya kiya um bacche ko ventilation to jo hai umbilical venous catheter dala Uh, to give iv fluids and um, umbilical artery catheter dala to monitor blood gases and uh, and baby was then a treatment one of the the treatment now novel treatment is we cool these babies humne shuru se thi dekh suna hai ki bacche ko warm rakho but ye ye condition hai jahan brain uh, injury hoti hai to usme bacche ko cool karna padta hai ye cooling is a regular um, um, instance you know, pehle to hum shuru mein maa baap ko uh, permission lete the now it is accepted or ye i think ye ab introduce ho raha hai uh, low income uh, in countries mein uh, abhi fully clearance nahi mili baby ko iv fluid dala tha 10% glucose at 60 cc per kilogram and why 60 cc per kilogram क्यों दिया इतना काम है जी क्यों थोड़ा फ्लूट क्यों दिया जो बच्चे हैं ना जिनको ये ब्रेन इंजरी होती है गिव देम लेस फ्लूड जस्ट इनसेंसिबल वाटर लॉस व्हिच इज अबाउट 60 cc per kilogram we do not know ki kidney function kya hai tolerate karega ki nahi to phir uske sath hum log calcium gluconate bhi add kar diya aur phir uske teesre din bacche ko intravenous nutrition dala to jisme intravenous bag mein pani hota hai protein hoti hai lipids hote hain और इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स वगैरह सब डाल के उसको टोटल पैरेंटल न्यूट्रिशन कहते हैं इन द रिस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सीबीजी एट बर्थ एज मैंने आपको बताया था ये कैपिलरी ब्लड गैसेस पीएच वो 6.6 वेरी लो बेस एक्सेस वाज 16 आल्सो वेरी इंक्रीज एंड देन द सी ब्लड गैसेस जब नर्सरी में दाखिल किया था तो फिर पीएच बच्चे का 7.3 हो गया था ECO2 18.8 PO2 51 बाइकार्बोनेट 10.3 तो आप कैसे इन ब्लड गैसेस को क्या कहेंगे कि नॉर्मल पीएच है बट PCO2 लो हाई और नॉर्मल हां इज वेरी लेस very low a very good answer very his baby has been over ventilating and this is also not very good pao2 51 hai ye normal hai ke abnormal very not very barely normal about 50 ye arterial gases hain to we accept them bicarbonate was very low 10.3 और ये है बच्चा एस्फिक्सिया से लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस जमा करता है तो उससे बायका गिर जाता है तो दिस एडेड टू वेरी लो पीएच एट दैट टाइम वी वर यूजिंग सोडियम बायकार्बोनेट नाउ वी डोंट यूज सोडियम बायकार्बोनेट एंड वी करेक्ट द 
oxygen and uh, pressure and so on. And uh, we also use uh, uh, sodium citrate and that breaks down to bicarbonate if we have to use it. Chest X-ray was con uh, consistent with ARDS. ARDS means shock lung. Because when a child has this problem, the blood lungs are not going to There were minimal bi-basal uh, bi infiltrate and endotracheal tube was in place. Okay. This is the chest X-ray of the baby. As you could see, no flexion, nahi. baby is just extended, lying there, and uh, the chest X-ray shows haziness. Then this is called as the um, um, ARDS picture. It may surfactant shut off. So, because pH very low, hai, so that's what this baby looks like. Endotracheal tube hai. Ye baby ka heart hai. Ye liver hai. Yeah, um, stomach and intestine hai. Yeah, is asphyxiated baby tha, that there are very little um, gas in the abdominal cavity. Thode thode hai. So, ye UVS, UVC ja rahe hai upar ko. So, uh, ye hai. Um, Talat Mahmood aage. Welcome, Talat Mahmood. Okay. Mm, uh, so, ye maine kar diya. Uh, uh, Next slide. Ye yeah, X-ray bhi dikha diya. Neurological system. EEG finding compatible with flat tracing indicative of electrocerebral hypoactivity also called as birth suppression pattern. Um, because of the asphyxia, uh, lack of oxygen to the brain, the waveforms become very inactive and is called as birth suppression pattern and has very poor prognosis. Very poor prognosis. Ultrasound of the head, liya tha, to uspe edema tha brain me, or baby ko seizures huye the, char fits pad gaye the, char ghante ke birth me, and was treat, usko treatment di thi us mane me ham phenobarbital high dose deke kiya tha, or 40 milligram per kilogram, or uh, phenobarbital level at that time was 45 milligram, which was not very high. Aajkal to dusri nai medications and seizures ke liye Capra and the other ones which are effective also. Uh, metabolic and renal system, we have to look at the baby as a whole. There's severe metabolic acidosis by carbonate level was 10.3, was corrected. Creatinine level was 1.2 milligram per dl. Maximum BUN was 10 milligram, and there was frank hematuria was noted. So this is the total body involvement. Kidney ko be involved ho gaye, lungs be involved ho gaye. So in bache ko high potassium tha because kidney name function kar rahi thi, so potassium nahi nikal raha tha bahar urine mein. So unko insulin or glucose therapy deke treat kya tha. Um, Baby also had hyponatremia, hypochloremia. Sodium level had dropped down to 125 millimoles and chloride was 73 and hypocalcemia 6.7. In a very, very sick baby, you see all these hyponatremia because it's just called as SIADH response and there's fluid re remains inside which leads to low sodium and low uh, uh, chloride. As, as uh, I showed you, sodium level was very low, 125. Normal, kya hota hai, sodium level? 135 to 145. Very good, very good. Good job. <laughs> and lactic acid level was 19.4, which was very high. The normal being 0 0.5 to, to 2.2. So that means it's a lot of asphyxia. Ho gaya tha lack of blood circulation to the body and they make uh, lactic acid was produced, which lowers the pH, okay? In the infectious disease, whenever a baby is sick, usually you also probably start on antibiotics. So uh, covering gram positive and gram negative coverage, baby was given ampicillin and gentamicin. White count was uh, on admission 46,000 with, 53 sex, van 6, and lymphs 29%, metamyelocyte 7, 
and platelet count was 241, CRP was 4.65, and the blood culture was negative. So what do you think about this CBC? Huh? White count on admission was high, low, or normal? Huh? High, because of the stress, a lot of um, the nucleated RBCs are seen, which are counted as WBCs. 53% um, had sex and bands are only six. So usually in sepsis, the bands are very high. We do a band to sex ratio and uh, we divide the percentage bands, divide by bands per sex, uh, bands plus sex. And if you get a ratio of 0 0.2 or above, that means shift to the left. Platelet count was 241. Is that normal or high? or abnormal? Normal. Yeah. Normal. Very good, very good. CRP, we cut the rule of infection, will be low, the um, abnormal CRP should be at least 10. Blood culture was negative. Usually, you know, this was negative, but empirically we treated the baby. Once we knew the blood culture was negative, we stopped the antibiotic therapy. And that is called as the um, uh, an, uh, um, stewardship of antibiotic therapy. Usually in our center and many places other, if the baby is clinically doing well, blood culture is negative, we should not continue the antibiotics for a longer period of time, even if the baby has some features. Um, okay. Uh, the GI system, he was kept NPO, as you saw, usko khana nahi diya tha, kyunke ileus present tha, gut we involved tha, humne bohut kam gas dekhi thi. Baby had not passed any stools as yet, the gut was not working well. Cardiovascular system, baby had hypertension, so he was started on dopamine for inotropic support. Uh, also, baby, all systems get involved. When baby ko DIC bhi ho thi, this was uh, treated by fresh frozen plasma and D DIC pan panel was D, uh, D, D dynamers was 4,592. Normal is less than 310. Fibrinogen level was 279. PT was 19.6 and PTT was 45.8. So they're both a little bit elevated. Lowest platelet count we saw in this baby was 116,000, which was still normal. Parent and family. This is a single parent family. Uh, it is very important to think about the family, especially in these situations when the baby is very, very sick. Give your full attention to the babies. Um, uh, severe, uh, several parent physician meetings are held and detailed information regarding clinical status was provided. Mother was counseled regarding the hypothermia treatment and an informed consent was obtained. That was the first hypothermia treatment which we did in our hospital. At that time, we have to get permission from the parents. On day of life six, baby was still on assisted ventilation. Thoda mm, thoda uh, uh, breathing, aratha kutko. All systems recover ho gay to physiological stability, but reco rec recovery of the brain remains undetermined and guarded. Everything will recover, but the brain gets the permanent damage. The baby passed away in the mother's arm despite all medical intervention on day of life eight. Yeah, this is the picture of the baby, as you can see, he's so uptended, uh, no flexion, extension, endotracheal tube is there, eyes are closed, and this is uh, um, stage three HIE, and I'll explain to them what that means. Um, this baby is on the cooling blanket. blue cooling blanket. So baby ko cool to help the baby. And we always involve the parents. We bring the parents inside next to the baby. They can come and see 
they can touch the baby. In certain situation, we may not let them hold the baby if they're critically ill, but they can touch the, touch, gently touch the baby because we don't want to disturb these babies. Sometimes they become more hypoxic. And um, these babies require intensive care. And usually two nurse, nurses to one baby is usually uh, required. And uh, um, so that's why these are two nurses taking care of this baby. And as you could see, this is a very, very sick baby, has a lot of IV uh, uh, going on, uh, IV fluids and all those things, inotropic agents, antibiotics. So this is a very sick baby. Huh? Uh, and, okay. Oh. Okay. So now uh, we come to the, what are my objectives today? We will talk about HIE definition, incidence, demographic influence, and prerequisites. So we will this, what is the hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy definition? What is behind pathology? What is clinical manifestations? Uh, and uh, laboratory changes? Uh, treatment and strategies for neuroprotection, kya hum treatment denge, prognosis and long-term outcome, medical legal implications, parental support and summary. This is a condition in which really, um, I don't know in Pakistan if you have that, but in United States and Western world, litigation is very, very uh, common in these situation. Wo kahenge ke humara bachya, to, mm, Aga uh, Khan mein because the brain was uh, affected. So that's why we have to be really, really careful. Um, so definition kya hai? Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Short means ko kate hai HIE. It's an acquired syndrome characterized by clinical and laboratory evidence of acute brain injury due to asphyxia due to hypoxia, due to acidosis and hypoperfusion. The thin charge is a milk, brain could damage karti hai. Lack of oxygen, um, acidosis, hypoperfusion. And HIE remains a serious condition causing significant mortality and long-term mobility. It's a very, very serious disease. Okay. Um, frequency of HIE in the United States, it is not that common because they have a good OB care now and pregnancies are followed very closely. And uh, most of the people live near bigger centers. And, and so that's why they do a lot of tests to check the baby out, um, fetal monitoring is done. But in developing nations, incidence is high due to lack of advanced perinatal and neonatal care. And when I was re reviewing, many of these mothers live far away in small villages. And by the time they are brought to the hospital, that, that, time, uh, that, uh, uh, that time is lost. And that's why it is. So uh, is an acquired, see, many people are behind it. Um, so mortality and mobility, kitne kya hota hai in bachyon ko, kitne bimaar hote hai. So in severe HIE, mortality is 50%. Ye jo bachya mein aapko dikhaya tha na, ye it is a severe HIE. 80% with severe HIE have long-term disability, 1 to 20, 10 to 20% moderate disability, and 10% babies could be still normal. Long terms and your bachonko problem hai, mental retardation, heart groaning karta, um, fits parte hai, or cerebral palsy or dia. There is no ethnic or gender predilection. It can be equally seen in boys and girls. Uh, all, all, most of the time, it's seen in newborn area, most in a uh, period, and most the other ye. Uh, term bachyon ko hoti hai, jaise mene hamara bachya tha. Uh, disease manifests at birth within few hours and uh, isi liye us bachya ka apgar score bohat low tha. Uh, 
सो रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है इस डायग्नोसिस के लिए प्रोफाउंड मेटाबॉलिक एंड मिक्स्ड एसिडोस एसिडीमिया इन दिस वन पीएच शुड बी लेस देन सेवन इन एन एम्बलाइकल आर्टरी कैथरी दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्वालिफिकेशन जब आप कूल भी करते हो तो ये दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्री रेकर सिवियर न्यूनिकल डिप्रेशन विद लो एक्सटेंडेड एपकर स्कोर लेस देन फाइव फॉर लॉन्गर देन फाइव मिनट्स despite of resuscitation neonatal um, uh, neurological uh, sequela such as uh, fits um, uh, no gag no response bachcha suck nahi kar sakta or multiple organs are involved kyunki sirf brain nahi liver kidney lungs um, um, gastrointestinal heart sab and is called as a multi organ system failure uh, clinical manifestation course it depend upon the severity of hie there are three categories uh, is condition ki mild hai dusra moderate hai teesra severe hai jo humne aapka case case dikhaya tha wo bachcha was severe hie case in which the mortality is high uh, mild hie ye hai poor feeding they can be irritable they can cry or lethargy usually achhi tarah wo suck nahi karte irritable hote hain shaky uh, muscle tone may be increased or deep tendon reflexes may be brisk exaggerated by 3 to 4 days the cns system will become normal so this is a good recovery the mild hie is a good recovery case moderate hie this in bachchon ko लिथार्जिक होते हैं मसल टोन लो होती है वो डीप रिफ्लेक्सेस आर एब्सेंट ग्रैस जो हाथ में मुट्ठी नहीं बंद कर सकता मोरो नहीं कर सकता आपको पता मोरो रिफ्लेक्स क्या है जब उसको इरिटेट करते हैं तो दे गो अपवर्ड सकिंग रिस्पॉन्स आर स्लगेज पीरियोडिक एपनिया सीजर्स और फुल रिकवरी कैन अकर विद इन टू टू थ्री वीक्स and also long term disability is still there in these babies an initial period of well being followed by a period of deterioration is suggestive of reperfusion injury severe hie the baby i showed you in ke bacche ko common coma hota hai bilkul response nahi dete um, breathing is irregular and um, um, गैसिंग ब्रीदिंग है इन बच्चों को खुद ब्रीद नहीं कर सकते तो इनको ब्रीदिंग मशीन पे डालना पड़ता है लो मसल टोन एबसेंट रिफ्लेक्सेस न्यूनेटल रिफ्लेक्सेस सच ए सकिंग सॉल्विंग ग्रैस एंड मोर आर ऑल एबसेंट देर इज डिस्पर्ड आई मूवमेंट एब नॉर्मल होती है निस्टैगमस हो सकता है in severe hie pupils may be fixed and dilated poorly reactive to light seizures may occur fits jaldi ho jate hain as the time eeg becomes isoelectric burst pressure pattern wakefulness deteriorate fontanelles fontanelles bulge suggesting of increased cerebral edema in bachcho ki irregular heartbeat hoti hai blood pressure and blood pressure are calm uh, death occurs commonly due to cardio respiratory failure yeah, after so many time and they will die because unka cardio respiratory failure ho jata hai uh, okay uh, ye jo hai na uh, aapne shayad suna hoga inki staging karte hain stage 1 2 and 3 to inko kehte hain sarnard stages of perinatal ischemic brain injury तो आप लोग भी अगर नहीं मालूम तो इसको पढ़ के सीख लो जब आपके ऐसे बच्चे हों तो आप स्टेज कर सकते हो वन टू और थ्री स्टेज वन जो है डिजीज सरनाट सरनाट हजबेंड एंड वाइफ टीम दे नाउ दे यूज टू बी इन कैनेडा बट नाउ दे लिव इन इज़राइल लेवल ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस इज हाइपर अलर्ट नॉर्मल मसल टोन Uh, may be normal posture is mild distal flexion stretch reflexes are overreactive you may see a clonus segmental myoclonus is seen 
and uh, uh, um, complex reflex, uh, reflexes are normal and tonic is uh, slightly uh, decreased. Pupils, uh, mid um, uh, heart rate, uh, and, and babies will have tachycardia. Bronchosalivary secretions are uh, sparse, uh, but they become profuse and variable. And GIT activity normal or decreased bowel sounds. And sometimes these babies have increased diarrhea and it could be variable. Uh, seizures, stage one may usually, if it's nahi aate, stage two may uh, common focal and multifocal seizures are seen. Stage three, just disease bahut advanced hai. The brain activity khatam ho jati hai. The seizures may not be seen. EEG, it could be normal in stage one. Stage two may, uh, there is uh, uh, low voltage. And in, in and stage three, periodic burst pressure pattern. Very little uh, activity ho the EEG ki. So duration is, a recovery is less than 24 hours, two to 14 days, and it may take hours to weeks and also leading to death in between. Uh, pathogenesis, there is impaired, uh, uh, have uh, brain key supply, blah, uh, um, uh, normal nahi hoti, uh, brain ko, uh, blood nahi mil ra, or all organs ko bhi nahi mil ra. So this is due to interruption, interruption in the placenta blood flow and gas exchange. Placenta will cool work nekarta. Visliye unko wo fetal abnormality hoti hai. Severe fetal acidemia and so fetal umbilical artery pH, as I bataya tha, should be less than seven to qualify for the diagnosis. Acute injury at the cellular level is due to lack of oxygen khatam ho jata hai oxidative phosphorylation, they have anaerobic metabolism, decrease ATP, in, as I many of the time, lactic acid level and, and failure of transcellular iron pump, Isiliye sodium level low, jata, water chala jata cells ke andar, or ek or cheese jo cell damage ko karti hai, brain ki wo calcium hai, so calcium uh, brain cells mein chala jata hai, water, and this is called a cytotoxic edema. Okay, uh, membrane depolarization hote hain and um, um, the release of, and uh, when asphyxia hota hai, to amino acid release hote hain, ye yaad rakhiye ka, isko kata hain glutamate from exon terminals and glutamate will increase the influx of sodium and calcium inside the cell and so yaad rakhiyega hypoxia ischemia, there is a release of uh, um, glutamate from uh, exon terminals, and this increases the influx of sodium, of pani, or calcium under cell ke chala jata hai. And uh, um, also there's a mitochondrial release of prostaglandin, xanthine, uric acid, and nitric oxide, which could be toxic. And ye sari cheeze milke calcium ko or brain cells mein le jati hai, to wohi damage karta hai. So aapko yaad, yaad rakhi hai, hypoxic, lack of oxygen to the brain will release uh, uh, yeah, in, uh, glutamate. Glutamate push karega uh, uh, calcium ko uh, nerve cells mein and cause damage and also water up mein saath lega. Okay, good. Um, so um, factors which are so cell death, energy failure, acidosis. So just remember glutamate, uh, intracellular calcium, lipid peroxidation, and nitric oxide. It, it leads to apoptosis. Um, so or hypoxia, acidosis, release of glutamate, and intracellular calcium influx. Okay, this is a diagram. Sab bana hua hai. Isme, um, uh, 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 anaerobic glycolar ATP decrease. Ho jata hai. It releases the uh, release of uh, glutamate and all those things, and free radical oxygen they will cause damage. Okay, delayed brain damage after resuscitation in utero. 
or in the postnatal period, oxygenation and perfusion is restored. pH and cardiorespiratory status becomes normal. Intracellular phosphorus, phosphorus metabolism, pH also normalized. Mugger cerebral energy failure returns in six to 48 hours, known as a second phase of injury, characterized by decrease in phosphocreatinine ratio, and this can be detected by an MRI. Uh, delayed brain damage, continued in human, uh, in sano ke bache mein, um, severity of second energy failure, a strong correlation with adverse neurological development at three to four years of age. Um, mechanism of secondary energy failure, this is due to just yaad rakhiye ke calcium hi damage karta hai. Um, and calcium, if flux is by cell membrane energy, calcium is also released in the cytoplasm, intracellular calcium increases, formation of oxygen free radicals via xanthin and prostaglandin. So uh, uh, cytosol, uh, cytosolic calcium has determinal, uh, detrimental effect on the neuronal cell leading to irreversible brain damage. So kya hua? Pele lack of oxygen hua, lack of uh, perfusion hui, there is a release of glutamate. Glutamate a, a, a neurotransmitter hai. Unho ne, uh, usne calcium ko push kar diya. Um, cells ke andar water ko push kar diya, cells swelling ho gai, to wo uh, further damage. Um, so mechanism, ye hai neurotransmitter, glutamate, glutamic acid is a major excitator amino acid and it releases uh, during hypoxic ischemia, glutamate release increases and promotes intracellular entry of calcium. So just a minute, I have said that when the oxygen is blood circulation is then after that, the neurotransmitter, glutamic acid, is active, it pushes calcium inside the cells and water is and damage it. Mechanism secondary energy. In, in this, probably I'll skip this slide because in which our time hai? I think this you should know. Inflammatory mediators are also released. When hypoxic ischemia hota hai, so there is release of intro, in, <laughs> inflammatory um, mediator. Aapne yes naam sunne honge inter, interleukin, TNF. PF are expressed within one to four hours of HIE and they go and try to further damage the brain. Neutrophil invasion of the area um, infarction occurs, inflammatory cytokines induce the release of uh, uh, nitric oxide synthetase and essential uh, amino acids. Cytokines exert both beneficial and deleterious effect after ischemia. Uh, neuron uh, cell deaths, their cells swell and, uh, swelling, <laughs> disruption of um, these uh, loss of mem membrane integrity, lysis of neuron cells, activation of inflammatory process. Apoptosis means uh, cell death kasi so hoti hai, cell hoti hai, uh, and um, also it is due to lack of oxygen and circulation. So uh, strategies to prevent ongoing injury after HIE, early identification of infants at, at high risk. This is what the nurses should look at, the OB nurses should look at. So jaldi is ko karle, uh, supportive care to facilitate adequate perfusion and nutrient to the brain should be done. Consideration of intervention to ameliorate the process of ongoing brain injury window of opportunity is very short. It is only two to six hours and promote prompt identification therefore is very, very crucial. So you should have good fetal monitoring, uh, monitor these babies who have these sentinel events, prolapse cord, placenta previa, uh, a brush of placenta. These are, all of these can give rise to brain injury. Uh, um, and the constellation of finding in the highest evidence of sentinel events, just as I told during labor, abnormal fetal heart rate pattern, late de deceleration, severe neonatal depression with low extended, APGAR score less than five after five minutes, 
और इन बच्चों को यूजली डिलीवरी रूम में इंटूबेशन की जरूरत होती है चेस्ट कंप्रेशन और एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एपिनेफ्रिन देर इज सवियर फीस एम्बलाइकल आर्टरी पी एच एज आई टोल्ड यूज लेस देन सेवन एंड वेस डेफिसिट इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्सटीन एंड दिस इज ड्यू टू लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस early abnormal neurological examination and abnormal eeg a robust evidence for severe disease so main aapko bata raha tha na ke eeg pattern hote hain this is a reactive eeg this is also but this is a non reactive eeg um, so moderate suppression isme hai isme hai severe suppression नॉट मच ब्रेन एक्टिविटीज देयर इसीलिए इन बच्चों को जिनको सवियर डिजीज होती है दे डोंट हैव सीजर्स बिकॉज ब्रेन इज नॉट एक्टिव सो ये न्यूरो प्रोटेक्शन वी हैव टू सी मेंटेन ए नॉर्मल ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल विद ए नॉर्मल रेंज बिटवीन फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम नीदर हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया इज गुड neither hyperglycemia is bad so avoid hypoglycemia and avoid hyperglycemia uh, seizures and uh, uh, to fits them and go treat karo with uh, uh, um, uh, with eeg evidence role of prophylactic phenobarbital with loading dose could be done and correct the electrolyte imbalance serum uh, uh, electrolytes and calcium and magnesium should be monitored control of blood glucose count both uh, i think i already talked about maybe benefit of blood glucose to be maintained in the uh, control of seizures and then ye jo hai nay treatment i hai jisko kehte hain hypothermia all our lives we learn to keep the babies warm and the normal temperature of a baby is what aap kisko normal kehte ho range kya hai anybody normal temperature 36.5 very good very good you got it <laughs> 36.5 to 37.5 and modest so we try to cool them down to about uh, 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 from 36. 5 to 37.5 bring it down to 33 and a half to 34 degrees celsius and this is done for about 72 hours with different methods and uh, uh, there is uh, selective head cooling and uh, 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 potential mechanism of neuroprotection due to cooling is decreases cerebral metabolism and uh, inhibits जो मैंने आपको बताया था जो कल्परेट है ग्लूटमेट रिलीज को कम करता है to the brain so isliye cooling ye kam karti hai um, nitric oxide production or glutamate um, band kar deta so that's why it is good um, potential mechanism of prevention of protein kinase inhibition atp and reduction of leukotriene production prevention of blood brain barrier disruption decrease in brain edema and inhibition of apoptosis um factors to be considered for effective hypo the window I, opportunity as i told you is very uh, limited 2 to 6 hours recommend duration is 72 hours degree of is 32 uh, to 34 degrees celsius and two recommended methods selective head cooling and total body cooling the method of whole body cooling is turn the radiant warmer off place the infant infant on a pre cooled mm, Uh, a cooling blanket you saw that in the picture there was a blue blanket uh, and that was a cooling blanket place the first blanket on the second cooling blanket and 
um, connected to the cooling system. It's called as blanket roll, hyperthermia, hypothermia system. It, this was um, built in uh, uh, Cincinnati, this is in, in United States, adjust the cooling device temperature based upon the infant's response to targeted temperature of 33.5 degrees Celsius. What are the adverse effects of hypothermia? You can have hypoglycemia, decreased myocardial contractility, arrhythmias, hypotension, ventilation, perfusion, mismatch, increased blood viscosity, bleeding diathesis, and thrombocytopenia, acid-base electrolyte imbalance, and increased risk of sepsis. That's why in developing nations um, or, uh, with limited resources, it is not highly recommended now because of lack of nursing health and lack of other facilities. The one-to-one -one nurse, two nurses do one baby is required, but which sometimes may not be able to provide it in low-income uh, centers. And also uh, ventilation is not available in many hospitals where these babies are born. Rewarming after cooling, initiate after 72 hours and increase the cool, cooling by, point by half degree Celsius per hour for six hours. So it takes about six hours the baby to reach the temperature, 36.5. Turn the radiant warmer on at this point and set the server control 0 0.5 degrees Celsius greater than the skin temperature. Increase the server control set point warmer by 0 0.5 Celsius per hour till the. So I think um, once you are ready, uh, there are protocols available. So if you are thinking to start this uh, therapy, you have to work with the protocols that are available and you can search for that and do a good training to your, um, uh, all the people. It's a whole um, uh, leader, uh, nurses, doctors, uh, uh, respiratory therapists, they're all involved in the care of these babies. There are two methods. This is a Gluck method, Gluckman method from Australia, selective head cooling method. Hypothermia was beneficial in reducing death and disability in infants with moderate hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. It does not affect the severe HIE. No positive effects were seen in infants with severe HIE. Then um, uh, number two is Dr. Shankaran. She was my mentor in Detroit. She did a lot of work on cooling total body. They did total body hypothermia. And she thinks that they're beneficial in moderate but not in severe hypoxia. In, and it did reduce the death and disability in term infants with HIE. So these are the two methods. Uh, um, and so other modalities, they are also working. These are some medication. Uh, uh, I don't think so any of these has been um, effective. Some people use magnesium sulfate, uh, dexamethorphine, and um, so these are still uh, superoxide dismutase, allopurinol, of, and uh, also in dexamethorphone and ketamine. Ketamine is being used in, in even in adults with hypoxia. Prevention of nitric oxide formation, uh, calcium channel blockers could be used, autologous stem cell transfusion. Now what they say is, they take the blood of, from the umbilical um, vein or artery and try to bring it to the area uh, which had uh, hypoxic ischemia. And, and that has been shown to be helpful. And um, there is also need for xenon inhalation therapy in com combination with hypothermia. Um, animal studies uh, show neuroprotection. Uh, The, all of these uh, modal, modal, modalities are really under uh, investigation except the hypothermia. Uh, parental support is very important. HIE events can lead to both immediate and long-term sequelae in a neonate. The parents go through a lot of anguish, stress, 
एंड ग्रीफ रिस्पॉन्स माँ बाप को बहुत दुख लगता है तो इसलिए हमें उनको सपोर्ट करनी चाहिए उनके साथ हम बैठ के बात करें काउंसलिंग करें हमें सिंपल वर्ड्स यूज करने चाहिए हमें साइंटिफिक वर्ड्स नहीं यूज करना तो उनको बताना है और समटाइम्स हम मैं तो यूजली पिक्चर ड्रॉ करता हूँ हर चीज की तो उनको बता देते हैं यहाँ यहाँ है द इंफॉर्मेशन शुड बी प्रिसाइज ट्रांसपेरेंट पंक्चुएटेड विद एम्पथी कंपैशन and we cannot take the hope from anybody always let the ray of hope with them and uh, you never know which baby will go which way american uh, academy of pediatrics and american uh, recommendations are the cor correct terminology for documentation should be hypoxic ischemia or neonatal depression the terms such as birth asphyxia and neonatal asphyxia are to be avoided you know why anybody can tell me why those should be avoided unko kyun nahi ha kyunki ye bahut litigious society hai to billboards lage rehte hain sadkon ke upar agar aapke bacche ko birth asphyxia hai तो फलाने फलाने लॉयर को कॉल करो तो ही विल डील विद दैट सो दैट्स द रीजन वी शुड नॉट थेरेपिटिक हाइपोथर्मिया इज एन इवॉल्विंग थेरेपी फॉर टर्म इन्फेंट इज स्टिल अनोन स्टिल फॉर प्री टर्म इन्फेंट स्टिल इज नॉट ए सिंगल डिजीज फ्रॉम ए सिंगल कॉर लॉन्ग टर्म फॉलोअप इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट थेरेप्यूटिक हाइपोथर्मिया ऑफर्ड in clinical should we use under published guidelines role of eeg and mri for prong to be validated uh, future trials should be linked with current trials national and international registries should be established the formation of international interest group is highly recommended similarly to the pediatric oncology group institution offering uh, hypothermia and non research also need to document the clinical data and to ensure long term follow up and submit information to registries and is devastating event it has great impact on the near and the family dono maa baap pe aur bacche pe bahut effect padta hai and your recent research it has told us how to protect this that's why ye cooling shuru hua early identified infant with high risk for ongoing brain is very crit critical and khas taur pe jo placenta previa abrupt uh, placenta cord prolapse or late descent this period uh, uh, period of opportunity should facilitate the implication of more specific pharmacological and non intervention such as hypothermia for neuro protection okay this is my bibliography and is um, dedicated to the children of pakistan uh, these uh, are actually my own grandchildren so i presented it one time i was in pakistan so uh, we have and my uh, acknowledgement is dr sanjay akengayer and jan rice medical librarian all nurses and respiratory therapists and Uh, pharmacologists to help us in taking and of course our resident and students so uh, thank you for your time and attention and if you have any i hope you followed me it's a little tricky one but mujhe uh, english aur urdu mila ke bola tha to kuch uh, feedback de sakte hain kaisa raha amna khan thank you sir aapko acha laga समझ आ गई हाउ अबाउट युसरा ऋषि जी थैंक यू हाँ थैंक यू सर 